So, Matthew got hurt, me messed up, blah, blah, blah. It's the next day. We're here at the very end. He just like went down there and like ran and slid on his knees just to see how it feels. Cause if you think about it, like when you drop your knees, your ankles kind of tilt back. And uh, he found out that like today, it's more his ankle that's hurt than his knee, even though his knee kind of got jarred. I think his knee is the scarier injury. That's like the one that I assumed was worse. Um, but it ended up being more like an ankle tweak. So he's just got that thing wrapped up. He's got some two Advils in him and he's gonna feel it out. I will absolutely stop him if he like looks like he's in too much pain. You might end up riding that one. Yes, I'll show you exactly why in like three seconds right now. Oh, these are the hard ones. Yeah, it's just this ramp is like, I can see there's stuff on the floor. Like, a little dusty. I don't think it's been washed. And it's like, oh, geez. Oh, yeah, that's real slick. That resi ramp is so, so scary to me. I don't, I mean, I get learning how to like land in it because it's more mellow and you, you it's know. It's not like that bad, it's just like. You feel it? Yeah, if you can just slide like that, like. <laughs> oh, man. That little lip walking out of that. So how'd that feel? Yeah. What are you thinking? You're sticking to the hards? Yeah, for now. Until I like plan for it's too slippery. Did you hear that? He's gonna ride the hards until he slams because it's too slippery. He's like, yeah, I'll wait to learn my lesson, even though I know the lesson's coming. I mean, it's built different. So Matthew was just saying, like, this used to be, like, a pretty standard vert size. Like, I think it's 13 and a half, 14, or it's either, like, 13, 13 and a half, or 14, somewhere around there. It's really big. Like, a lot of the vert ramps that I've, like, dabbled around on are usually around 12 or 13. This definitely looks a lot bigger than it. Like, I dropped one on it yesterday. I was like, oh, yeah, it's, like, takes a second longer to get down to the flat bottom. This is the vert size that he grew up skating, but still... You do whatever you want. You're just feeling out his wheels. He saw one tail slide. He's already frustrated because he like the the pain is distracting enough to like make him not land his go to. I've definitely been there, and that is a really hard time to like walk away because it's just like well I can kind of skate, but like not fully. And he's just I can't already tell that he's just gonna keep skating. I'm I'm, I'm gonna say something to him right now, but you know, there's no way I'm talking about it. Oh my God. I'm so pissed off. Dude, take your time. There's no rush. Literally, I'm just pissed. This might be one of the scariest fair ramps I've ever just even dropped it on just because of how slippery it is. Like, even though it's like really big, it's not insanely mellow like a lot of our ramps are. I mean, you can see it. Look at the arc. Yeah, we're going to be mellow. wrong with that but that was insanely high what was wrong with that that was like nine foot high i think he's just mad because of how much pain he's in and he knows that it's like distracting his tricks okay so i know why he's mad he just said it he's just like i feel like all my plans are ruined now like he had an idea of what he wanted to learn here uh namely like he wanted to start doing 900s and a bunch of other like bird variations and then figure some stuff out into the resi maybe some stuff into the foam uh, but being hurt, it's, you know, when you have to work for what you can normally just casually do. Um, I think he's gonna get to it later in the week though. I think he's just pushing a little too hard.
Like, I, I, I guess I don't really understand the way vert skating works. Um, I've definitely skated with Matthew Tom, but never just on like a straight vert ramp. Well, oh, rarely on a straight vert ramp, I should say. So I don't really know what his casual standard is. Like to me, that looked like an incredible line. What did, was that an incredible line to you? Am I tripping? He just RKO'd that skateboard. It's like crazy how bird skaters, like when they mess up the trick, they're in the air for so long, they can decide to like, oh, I missed the trick, but the board's still next to me. I still have time to grab it and throw it. Like, you know, street skater, you know, you fall, you have to like walk over to your skateboard and throw it. Bird skaters, like the board's already in their hand half the time. Like, oh, I'm just throwing it. And I'm just making excuses. Like they're, not, they're valid excuses though. He hasn't skated vert in several months. His ankles hurt and this ramp is ridiculously slippery. And it's also different proportions of a ramp than he's used to. So it's totally understandable. But as much as uh, I know that you're probably enjoying the footage of someone flying like 10 feet in the air and slamming the board down, uh, it's got me feeling kind of anxious. Cause I don't, anger, you can get hurt being angry. I've definitely been hurt because I was too angry to skate and I forced myself to try something I didn't want to try and it just didn't work out. So. I'm filming this with caution. Woo! So far, you've literally seen every single try. I'm, I'm, because everything he's landed stuff. So you're seeing 100% of the tries. He's getting better each try, but yeah, once that rage gets boiling, it's so hard to put a cap in it. Like it's so hard to stop it. So I feel him, and I want to tell him to like, hey, like maybe just go sit down, but. Knowing myself and knowing how that would be annoying to me to hear if I was like going through what he's going through, I'm just gonna shut up, give him space, and see what happens. So he, he says his ankle's not getting worse. That's a good sign. Um, okay, so when he does this, leans the tail on the slippery rank ramp. Like, I mean, my hands are just they're sweaty. Because I just imagine, even on a smaller ramp, when you smack your tail, sometimes you shuffle a little bit. Um, dude, anger and slippery ramp, this is like the worst combination. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what else to say. I'm probably feeling more emotion than he is because I'm so nervous for him. So I'm going to walk. The only way, there's no like ladder to get to this deck. But that's where I need to go. And I'm so scared to like walk across this. Because uh, I don't want to climb through the foam. Oh, I, actually, no, I'm not going to. No, I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm scared of heights. No, I'm not doing that. Never mind. I just showed you that for no reason. I'm not doing that. Screw that. No, I'm gonna do it. 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 Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Okay, okay. That was the best trick I've ever done. Look at that. I don't care how dumb that looked. That was so sick, right? I mean, that's a full building. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a foam pit on one side, but still. It's different when you come here, I swear. If you have any fear of heights, that would've been scary for you. I like how there's this kid just posted up in the middle of the skate park sitting down. <laughs> like, what's going on? Oh, he's filming. Oh, he's the good homie. What is this chalk from pan plants? Are people chalking their hands and then climbing up this like a vert wall for uh, free running or whatever parkour? Like, look at this, look at these. So this is like a new thing that I know scooters love. They like launch out of this. And so you can't deck check. So they're like bashing into this like resi bubble thing. I don't know, it looks terrifying to me. Damn, these scooters look sketchy. You like covered a lot of distance on that backside alley for slippery. That is not, no, I don't like it. That was scary. It's more like a straight up and straight down kind of a ramp, not a shuffly one. Oh my God. That was like, what, six foot disaster? Yeah, 
Aisha is super satisfied. Like, here in midair, like, that was trash. I mean, you know, maybe to me and to you, this is like, you know, pretty thrilling to watch, but I imagine this is similar to that one day that I was skating this concrete ledge and I was trying to do a lot. Well, I wasn't even like filming anything. I was like warming up and I was just trying to slappy crook the ledge and like, I don't fall on Slappy Crooks, literally 20 tries to do a Slappy Crook on a regular perfect ledge. I was losing my mind. And to someone who doesn't do Slappy Tricks, maybe they'll be like, oh, that makes sense. It's like a weird trick to Slappy a ledge. But to me, really cozy. So seeing this gnarly bird stuff, to him, it's like, oh yeah, this is like easy stuff. But to me, I'm like, oh, I don't even understand how that's possible. So I sort of understand a little bit, but yeah, it's still crazy to me. All you big flip indie. He said he's trying to calm down now. He's like, he's like I'm gonna shut up. I'm just gonna skate. Uh, which is like, you know, a point that I think a lot of us reach in our frustration. We're like, no, I'm gonna be calm. But I don't know about you guys, but definitely for me sometimes I'll reach that point and be like, you know what? I'm being dumb, I'm being a baby. I'm just gonna skate and be quiet. And then like 10 more tries later, I'm like fuming. Cause like, you know, it's still not working. And you, I think in the back of your head, you're thinking like, oh, like if I calm down, I'll start landing stuff and you still don't land stuff. And you're just like, ah, oh, raging. But Matthew's not me, so hopefully it works out way better for him. Whee! That actually hurt. Yes, sir. You got it. Jumping. That's like that didn't feel a thing. basic tricks. It's been a long time since you skated Bert though and this ain't the best one to get back on it. Like they have like mini vert ramps and stuff here but he just you know he doesn't want to do that. He wants to just go straight back to where he was and I totally relate. I'm, there's definitely been times where like I'll skate a skate park handrail or something like that and I get so actually I have a story. I went to Chevy Chase not too long ago. I went to the front people the Chevy Chase rail. I rolled up like not thinking anything of it. And I got spooked and I actually took a run up to that little rail on the front feeble and I was like livid at myself. Did I go over to the flat bar and do a couple of front feebles? No, I, I just force fed myself the trick. Uh, and I ended up landing it. Didn't matter the fact that I didn't try right away. Pissed me off. He wants to start spinning some 540s on it, but he's worried about how slippery he is. So he's just gonna like toss one onto the resi real quick, which is also slippery, but. That's insane. I don't know. I, get, I don't skate Bert, so I don't understand the comfort of the resi ramp. The resi ramp scares me, especially that bubble right there but all the kids seem to know better and they all skated just fine. So I know it's a me thing, not a ramp thing. That cab was all you. That was ridiculous. He like floated a little over here, so to fix it, he did the all you cab air. That was insane. So he's gonna try like a mute 540. He doesn't really do those. Wow. I don't know if you've ever watched someone skate vert in person, but like seeing someone air right here this close to me and seeing how like weightless they are, it's surreal. I wasn't filming, but he just took the gnarliest fucking slam. Huge backside air, was too close to coping, looped out at the bottom, destroyed his body. Did you tweak your ankle more? No, I just body slammed the floor full force. Yeah, that looked awful, especially with that big wet spot down there. We ended up having to end the session right there. Uh, I saw that he hit his head pretty hard, but I didn't know how intense he rocked his dome. A little bit of dizziness, worries about a concussion. So yes, he hurt his knee, he hurt his ankle, and then he um, darn near knocked himself out, even with a helmet on. And let me just say this, the trip of like being at Woodward, because I think at this point in time, we're day two, maybe the beginning of day three, but I think it's still day two. Um, it just gets way more ridiculous with Matthew than this. I will say he's 
not done getting hurt. And he's he definitely hasn't done anywhere near the gnarliest stuff that he does on this trip. Um, I think a video coming out either tomorrow or the day after is some pretty gnarly stuff. But, like, the last day, <laughs> you just can't have to see. Like, he progressively gets so much crazier. He keeps getting more hurt and more gnarly. Um, but, yeah, I feel like we can all relate to that. Um, absolute chaotic uh almost like nonsensical logic of the more hurt you are the harder you want to try and the more difficult it makes skateboarding but sometimes you just kind of fight through it but yeah he um we he didn't skate for the rest of the day i don't think i think he was done that day because he like we were worried that he had a concussion we didn't want him to sleep or anything like that it was it was spooky but anyways yeah just stay tuned it, it gets way better